The birds are chirping and I'm so happy because I'm getting my comics today. I'm always working, but that don't hurt me because it's brand new comic book day. Always waiting on the next issue. Hope the story's so good I need a tissue. There ain't much more that I can say. Except it's brand new comic book day Guys, I, I knew I you said, guys said, would do something. I spun the future and tremble. Black is the brightest day. Where are the heroes? Soon as they get here, everything will be alright. I need a hero. What's good, Council of Comics? It's episode number 92. We are eight away from the great 100 on New Comic Book Day. What are we reading today? Oh, Duke. 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 Detective Comics. Detective, Detective Comics. Comics. Incredible oh, Hulk. X-Men 97. X-Men 97. Miles Crazy. Morales. Spider-Man. Uh, one hand. Legacy 300. The yeah. one hand. The one the hand. One, the fingers. No, it's just the one hand. It's one hand. One hand. I thought it was the five fingers. <laughs> Six fingers, but this one. Great, and also remember to look for the little portion in the video for the hashtag. All right, no, Cliff wants to change that, but we're not gonna change it just yet. We're gonna make his life a little bit harder for one. No, one we are month. changing it. <laughs> we're changing it. But not for this video. Maybe the next week. So pay attention for that. All right. Enough talk. Let's go. Yeah, wow, like, I really want to watch it. I don't have a... I got to try to find somebody with a Disney Plus account. I have a Disney Plus account. I found somebody with a Disney Plus account. What's it worth to <laughs> Get in the <Except>. bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Get in there. Oh, um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> we can't use this. <laughs> you can edit um, that part out. But yeah, all the clips I've seen, it looks awesome. And just, you know... Obviously, I, get into it. I have I have a problem, obviously, with, with, like, these movies going overly woke, right? Mm-hmm. But people are just knee-jerking now and just saying everything's woke. It's like, oh, X-Men's woke. How am I going to enjoy it? So what? It's like, first of all, dude, that's what the X-Men was anyway. You know what I mean? It, it was all social commentary about... Social, there's the difference between just being social commentary and being woke. Well, it, I'm just saying it's around that... It's in that realm. It's always been an allegory. For... Right. Uh, but people just see, like, one little thing now. Not the JR, JR. Then you've chosen the wrong cover, my No, I got the better cover. Never mind. Sorry. Continue, Justin. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> <laughs> we were fucking just talking about something. What the f***? Don't know. Hey, you've been gone for two weeks. Oh, that's gonna gaslight you, like you did. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Heavy, frothy. Yeah. Frothy? Yeah. Just. What? Just. Yeah, that was We're talking just. about. We're talking about uh, if Godzilla and King Kong. Is this on? Yes. Do you see the thing counting down? It's on. Do you understand now, Joseph? Yeah. I'm sorry, I have a headache. I don't mean to, I I don't know, mean to take I know, it out. I know. On you. I know. Just uh, if you yell, I'm having a rough one. If you yell loud, it'll probably add to the headache. You shouldn't do that. <laughs> I can't control my voice. It's a little Austin Powers stuff. You know, we were watching Austin Powers this past week. Really? Yeah. Which one? 
The first one. We're watching all of them, though. But you gotta watch the first one before you watch the other ones. Oh my god, that's such a good point. What's good, Council of Comics? Welcome to New Comic Book Day, episode number 92, Joseph. 92. Dude. Eight away from the big 100. Dude. Joseph had last week off. He's back to judge me. I'd love to judge you. Yeah. No, not special occasion. Well, who knows? That's the world could end. The world could end at 95. Who knows? You know what I mean? It's very true. It's very true. Remember, film and box office news is not this Sunday. It's Easter. Go do something. All right. Go outside. Do something. But film and box office news is on Monday again at 8 p.m. Shout out to Canadian survivalists for winning this month's, well, this past month's prize. It was his birthday too. When he won it? Yeah, he said it was his birthday. Happy birthday, man. Yeah. So, Good for you. Congratulations. So now we're going to do my picks. All right? I didn't know Canadians had birthdays. Yeah. They have birthdays. All right, bro. Conan the Barbarian, number nine. Uh, we got a Titan preview. I actually read this all already because we got the preview from Josh from Titan oh, Books. Oh, okay. Excellent. So I just wanted to get that. Okay, I'll okay. support that. Well, I heard this is good. Wolverine, the Sabretooth War, number 46. Uh, this is part six. Oh, let's, let's not say another number like that. Um, six. Uh, oh, a cannibal <laughs> reference. Yes. I like it. It's a great, great story. Sabretooth is going in. He really he really doesn't like Wolverine. He really does not like Wolverine. Um, but he loves him. Yeah. But he loves him. Oh, yeah. yeah cover. I didn't see that. Incredible Hulk number 10. Yeah, that's the cover right there. It's a good book. It's a good, excellent book. It's a good book. Marvel Horror right here. Yep. Very, very good book. Marvel Horror has been pretty damn good. Yeah. Very, very good. Uh, Miles Morales, Spider-Man, number 18. But it's also the Legacy 300th issue, Joseph. 300. Don't hit the table. You're going to make it shake. Sorry. Uh, These covers are very popular with all the... Uh, yeah, that's why I'm only getting that? this one. Yeah. How much yeah. is this one? It's like Ten? eight bucks. Okay. Nine bucks. Oh, my God. Nine bucks. Happy, oh. happy birthday, Miles. <laughs> Ultimate Spider-Man number three. Do you read Ultimate Spider-Man? I bought the two of them, realized I didn't want them, so I'll be selling them. Oh, you're not into it, huh? I'm just, you know. Oh, wow, Joseph. Ultimate Spider-Man is pretty though. good. It's pretty good. We mean heard. You said you bought them. Did you read them? No. All right, what's good? Council of Comics, new comic book day. These are my picks this week, starting off. DC, Batman, Detective Comics. It is a good story. It's great detective. It, it, you're, Joey's right. It's not really like a good thing you could jump into right now. It's pretty deep in Batman lore and stuff. Uh, some independence though. Conan the Barbarian, number nine. I actually got to read an advanced copy of this issue, so it's really good. I'm going to pick it up. Uh, some independence. I'm going to try Feral, issue number one. Uh, a lot of buzz around this comic, so I hope it's good. Uh, so I personally read Monstrous issue number 50, Milestone for Monstrous. So, Duke issue number four, of course. And uh, I think this is the last big one, Sama. So this is the issue number three. I think this is like, they're gonna close this story out. We got some Marvels. We got Gods, issue number six. Only two issues of Gods left after this. The JRJR cover of Daredevil, of what course. What a thing of beauty! Look at that! <laughs> it's amazing! <got> it. <laughs> What's that? Daredevil. <laughs> uh, Miles Morales, issue number 300. Uh, that's a big issue right there, expensive though. The End of X Force, issue number 50. This is, uh, they're gonna confront Beast, about time. Mm. About time. This is a big week, man. Like Wolverine yeah. came out this week, Sabretooth War. Yeah. So. I know my pocket's going to be hurting because finally, on the Marvel books, you're not going to skip this one either, Ultimate Spider-Man. Oh, yeah, issue number three. Yep. Issue number three. Yes. Peace out, everybody. Read your comics. You can do price. I'll do the names. All right. Five, four, three, two. <laughs> so professional. Oh, my God, my brain hurts. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. No, you got to leave that in. <laughs> Leave that in. You gotta leave that. <laughs> We're doing the cover <laughs> price daily shakers. These are the shakers for the week. Um, honorable mention Akira number one from 1988. Created 9.6, went for 
That's not bad. I, I, not might, bad. I might go for that. That's not bad. Yeah, I'll go for that too. Especially for a 9.6, that's really not bad. Yeah. Uh, all right, top five. Number five, we got Uncanny X-Men number 266 from 1990. Because this one's considered the first appearance of Gambit. We all know that there's an argument over which one it is. But uh, this one was raw. I went for a buck 40. Again, that still, I'd probably still go after that. Yeah, it's gone up though. They're usually about 100 bucks. Now they're about 140. Well, because of the show. Yeah. yeah. Uh, number four, Uncanny X-Men 200 back again, 1985. Trial Magneto, first appearance of the M suit, which Joey says is ugly. Most of us agree. Uh, this one's graded 9.0, went for $152.50. Mm, would I pay $150 bucks for a 9.0 of this? I don't know. Probably not. $120 maybe? For a 9.0? But, but that's pushing it still. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Alright, number three, Wolverine number one from 1982. So this was his first solo series. Uh, this was again another raw book, $155.50. That sounds about right. It's not bad. Now, it depends on how conditioned. That's what I was going to say. Yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like 9.8 condition. Yeah. The 82, about... though, I mean, you got to remember those books, they give you a little more leeway on the grade, too. So, yeah. a little dinged up, you know, you might be close to mm. uh, Number two, 8 Billion Genies, number one from 2022. Oh, this is the Super Mario one. Oh, yeah, okay. It's so the Bird the, City yeah, homage. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, Raw 198.69. That's a weird. Yeah, right? that's, that's gotta be that's gotta be well or it's on ebay <laughs> yeah 198.69 i'm I, I gonna outbid you by 12 cents it's a weird yeah uh but that's a dope book uh number one did you get that one i think you had that one didn't you? i wanted to get that one but okay it didn't happen. um the brave number one the brave and the bold number 10 from 1957. so this one again was raw it says it's very good okay uh 220 bucks for 1957. Well, but yeah, we talked about, there was that Superman book last week that was like, was it like a 3.5 or something like yeah. that? So, yeah. If you, oh no, it was, it was a 9.0. Which if you can find one. Yeah yeah. 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 A lot of raws this week. Not too many graded, but uh, what I would, I would love, I have a Wolverine number one. Um, I have Uncanny X-Men 200. I would love to have two Uncanny X-Men 266 again. I sold it when I was a kid to a predator. Not one of those predators, <laughs> but, a, but a comic book predator. You know, the ones From that Nashville? come in, the ones that be like, I'd give it, it's only 30 bucks, give right. me 30 bucks for it. Yeah. And me as a kid, 30 bucks was like a thousand dollars. Right. So it's like, you're a millionaire now. Yeah. yeah. Um, and you probably spent all 30 bucks with them like two days. Gone. Yeah. It's all gone. Yeah. It's all gone. Between Wolverine 1 and Akira, I might go Akira because mm. it's, it's affordable. And I think that's going to just appreciate the value. I think I might go Akira. All right. So those are cover price daily shakers. What do you guys think? Leave in the comments below. See you later. Back again. Look at me going green today. Ah, uh, all right. My first one is Daredevil number seven. I like Daredevil, and I got the good cover. Look how beautiful that cover is. Just it's such a striking image, unlike the other one. Uh, I'm also getting Hulk still. I like Hulk. You know, if it's Council Key, but you know, it's still good. Yeah, it's Council Key. It's great. Okay. Um, Duke. Everyone's getting Duke. But I like. Did you get? Did you get this cover? Or did you get the other one? This one's great. I got I all it. the covers. Of course you did. <laughs> but yeah, I like that one. I'm actually gonna give this one a shot. As much as I made fun of it, I'm gonna give it a shot, and I'm gonna draw one. Uh, so maybe someone contacts me if they want it. Uh, I'm still reading this. This is a fun story. Compliance of, uh, or Ministry of Compliance. I recommend it. I like it. It's, it's a different story. I'm going to give this a shot. I, I read the synopsis. It sounds interesting. I don't think it's quite magic ordery, which I really did like a lot. Um, but I'm going to give it a shot and see if it's good. The artwork looks pretty good so far. So, you know, we'll see where it goes. It's an Andolfo, so I always get all, all, all Andolfo stuff. Um, and then, this is my recommendation of the week. This is my key. Green shirt guy key. Um, Six Fingers number two. If you're reading this and you're reading the one hand, they kind of are doing this type of thing where they fold into each other because it's the same they story. each other? Sure. If you want to say it that way. I didn't. Uh, but yeah, I recommend this story a lot. It's a lot of fun. It's a murder mystery. Um, there's a lot of weird pieces and they haven't completely explained everything to you. But this is from one side of the story and then one hand is from the detective side of the story. So yeah. That's all I'll say. I, this I highly recommend though. So yeah, get the one hand. You know, that's my, 
what, five, six. No Glickman this week. Next week. Next week, Glickman and I will talk about a bunch of things and you can join us for our little segment. Peace. You are in my face. Why are you so close? What do you mean? I'm always this close. No, you're not. Is that better? I feel a little better about that. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, everyone. I want to show you guys some new comic books. I wasn't here last week, so I'm going to show you a little bit more than usual. I'm getting Blade. It's been really good. I was just told that it's going to be ending soon, which sucks. But uh, it's going to be ending after the Blood Hunt. So hopefully that's a good send-off. Batman 89 Echoes. The second issue finally came out. Um, I like it so far. So hopefully that doesn't change. Vengeance of the Moon Knight. This is a good book. Great book. Great, great, great book. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Very, it's, uh, very bloody. Personality of, uh, Mark I think it's somebody else entirely. Really? I do. Seems to know the Midnight Mission pretty well, though. Yeah, yeah. But didn't it? Didn't the Midnight Mission spit him out? Didn't he? Yeah. So, thumbs up. You know what I mean? The Incredible Hulk, another great book. Yes. The only gripe I have with this book. The only gripe I have with this book is uh, it's not always done by Klein. You know what I mean? I think Klein is incredible. And well, I could take a break from him as long as he comes back and gives us... Gives no, yeah, but he's like he's like on every two or three issues, you know? I don't know. Um, I just like him a lot, so the more I can get of him, the better. And But this book's good regardless. Um, Dawn Runner, New Ron V story. I believe it's a mech story. I'm pretty excited for it. Uh, I hope it ends up being good. The art looks incredible. Street Fighter Masters Akuma versus Ryu. I had to get the one in five. Ryu. Ryu. Yes, it is Ryu. Wow. What? What? What's years, his? What years? I called him Ryu. Oh yeah, everybody did, dude. What's his? What's uh, Akuma's name in Japanese? Akuma. Goki. Oh, oh, yeah. That's that. That sounds right. I like the cover. Could it be the fact that he looks like Goku a little bit? It is not Goku? that at all. You sure? It is not that at all. Uh, <laughs> wow. Uh, Detective Comics. I love this book so much. I cannot recommend it enough. It's incredible. This story, though, you would have to start from the beginning. There's no really good jump-in point right now. Uh, but the story is great. I can't recommend it enough for a Batman fan. And World's Finest, number 25 oversized issue um i believe this is going to start a new story arc it's incredible it's just an incredible book it really is one of the best dc has right now so if you like batman or superman obviously this is just a must those are my books for the past two weeks i'm pretty excited to read them um everybody have a great week be safe and happy easter happy easter Good evening, Josh. Good evening, Sam. How are you today? Well, Sam, thank you for asking, by the way. You're welcome. Well, yeah. this part is the hashtag. Mm. They, we're going to give them a hashtag that they have to put down below. Oh, yeah, they, down there. Yeah. yeah, and if they put it down there, they get a duck oh, nice. in the new drawing. The duck, yes. Yeah, the duck. we gave away our prize yesterday mm -hmm. to our March giveaway. Mm -hmm. uh, they were very mm -hmm. excited. Excited. Um, we're going to start up the April one. Okay. All right, so hashtag, what should it be? Hashtag... Um, hashtag bunny. <laughs> <laughs> so it has to be a question. Oh. And they have to put See, their answer Easter in bunny. the form of a hashtag. Oh, okay. So it has to be a question. Yeah. So we want to keep it comic book related? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, favorite first issue. Boom. There you go. Hashtag favorite first issue. So what you guys got to do is down below... Put a hashtag and your answer. So favorite first issue of mine would be hashtag G.I. Joe. Yeah, that's a good one. You know I mean? That's a good one. Yeah. yeah, as in like the original G.I. Joe? Or yeah, like, yeah, the original Marvel one. Yeah, like the Larry yeah. Hama one yeah, that they yeah. just reprinted. Okay, yeah. that's a cool one. I like that one. Mine, um, I have a couple, but I'm, I'm going to say I really loved um, Silver Surfer number one from the 80s. Oh, that's the a pretty one that good was one. Steve uh, Englehart and Marshall Rogers. That's pretty good one. That was when he... 
when he first got out of the atmosphere of the Earth and he was out in outer space for the first time in decades. Right. That was a good one, yeah. Cool. What's your guys' answer? Leave it below with the hashtag and you get yourself a duck in the contest. No bunny. And tune in to New Keys and Hot Comics of the Week this Monday at 8 p.m., 5 p.m. Pacific for more chances to win in a giveaway. All right? Thank you, Josh. Thank you. Have a good day. You too, sir. Happy all at the same time. Yeah. This, pile, this pile is a little too much for me. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I, can't, I, can't, I can't leave here with all this. You're on. Hi, welcome to Stu Clips Corner. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't buy all this, right? But definitely getting this because it's Spooky Man, his first appearance, right? That's cool. Ultimate Spider-Man three, an absolute must, right? Because it's the first appearance of Gwen, which is the only cover that I couldn't find here, but that's on me because I need reserve craft. Hey, X Force number fifty, which I think is the final issue and the final confrontation with Beast. It's been a little closer to you. And the final confrontation yeah, with Beast. X Men ninety seven. But then I also really love this cover. And another Ultimate Spider Man. And maybe one for the box. Powers of X! Over here, over here. Powers of X is finally coming to its conclusion as we get back to mansion status quo with the X-Men. We'll see about that. Power Girl number seven, Kara Zor-El and Kara zor -El are trapped in this wonderful magic-based dimension where their powers aren't very useful, but hey, they're teaming up and I love it. Miles Morales, legacy number 300. That's your 899 banger, everybody. Choose whatever cover you want. This is this is the council key cover. That's what we're calling it. There's a council cho council choice on this cover. And then I'm um, just because like I do like them together. I still hate Mary Jane's outfit, but Jackpot and Black Cat. I enjoyed them teaming up before, so this is fine. And then I don't know what I'm doing. I grabbed the Spider Verse because I like this cover. Again, I can't leave with all this. I can't take all these covers. Oh, Christopher Chaos, which I'm actually enjoying very much. And, oh, and of course, let me not forget Green Lantern. I chose this spectacular Red Lantern cover. So those are essentially my picks of the week. Um, we'll see. Uh, we'll see what I have to call on the way out the door. But that's it. Thank you for joining me. And as usual, stay reading. has to come and confront modern bees because it's a nightmare. Well, no, I think, I think New gonna, defenders. I think they're going to clean it up, like I said, because there is the only thing that's in the carriage right now that they can bring back is old beast from the Avengers. Which is the one who's around. That's when he, he's brought back fighting, now. He's fighting current beast. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah, he's yeah back. You know, and this is the final issue. This is the final it's confrontation with beast. Yeah. I'm a little bit sad that they could not do anything to redeem him. I'm sad that it's like it is a clone of his younger, finer self that's, that's going it. that's going to help us get through this. Yeah. This new beast is, is yeah, a monster. He so. is a monster. And he knows it. That's the other part. No, I was going to say, like, That's they, his did, they told him just enough to be like, we got to defeat you. And then they didn't tell him nothing else. And then he goes to the, the Krakoa computer, which is partly like mutant, right? And speaks to it. And it was like, show me everything, Hank McCoy, the beast, etc. And then he saw everything. And the next thing you know, he's running in the snow. And the next issue, he's like, Simon, it's me. We have to work together. This is terrible. He went back and got Wonder Man. He yeah. went back and got Wonder Man, which I love because I don't feel like that's surface enough. Anthony remembers this. At the beginning of House of M, the first issue, when the Quinjet lands and the X-Men come off because they need to make a decision about Wanda, Jarvis says, Master Logan, and then doesn't address Beast. And I'm like, this is foul. Jarvis would never not acknowledge a former Avenger. Avenger, Avenger. You ready? ready? Let's do it, man. Make sure I'm not dirty here. Nice and clean. 
What's good, Council of Comics? Here we are, new comic book day. It is the end of March. We're going out like a, I don't know, what does that work? In like a line at like a something, I don't know what it is. Doesn't matter. Somebody made it up a long time ago. Speaking of a long time ago, Conan the Barbarian, number nine. We might have seen that we talked about this. We had a separate video where we did a little early uh, review, spoiler free review of this excellent comic. We all got to take a look at it. So we know it's awesome. I'm very excited to have the print copy. It's a gorgeous book. Definitely, this is a must have for sure. Great series. Uh, next up, Duke. Yeah, baby, Duke, number four. Another series that's just rocking and rolling, loving it. Great book. Uh, Energon Universe, of course. And um, I always love, I always, always look forward to whenever there's a new issue, one of these books. So really happy that it's out this week. Uh, next up, we have latest issue of Ultimate Spider-Man, number three. This book is Taking the World on Fire. Uh, great book. Probably the best Spidey book out there. Um, so definitely looking forward to seeing where this goes. I really have no idea really what this book is doing, but it's awesome. So it's always nice to be kept on our toes, not knowing where things are going to go. So, And last but not least, actually it's not last, I got two more. Uh, X-Men 97, number one. This is a prelude, uh, prequel miniseries to the new animated series, which I loved, by the way. First two episodes, absolutely amazing. So excited for the new episode this week. And looking forward to uh, reading, see what uh, what this all sets up. So should be a lot of fun, very well timed. And now, last but not least, another book that I like a lot, Zorro, Man of the Dead. Uh, really cool mini series. Very excited to have a new issue for this one as well. Um, kind of sparked a little interest in Zorro again for me. So I checked out, there's an, there's a show on Amazon right now. That one's pretty cool. And I even watched some of the old black and white uh, Disney. So it's fun. I don't know. I like Zorro. It's a fun character. Obviously Batman likes Zorro too. Uh, so he comes with a little Gotham City endorsement as well. But here in the real world, I dig it. So those are my books this week. Hope you all have a good week and we'll see you next time. Peace. Uh, that was you. <laughs> <laughs> These are uh, cover price weekly movers. Most units sold this week. So we'll do the honorable mentions first. Ultimate Spider-Man number one. Spawn number one, which is very surprising. But it's Spawn. And <coughs> Uncanny X-Men 221, 224, which is the first appearance of Jubilee. And 282 which is the first appearance of Bishop. Uh, but we'll start with number five. That is Star Wars The High Republic number two, 2021. That goes for about $10 right now, and it is the first cameo of Vanessa Roja in the Dream Gear, and the first cameo of uh, oh, somebody else. Uh, Surrette and Tourette. Surrette and Tourette, okay. They must be feel like comic cameos. So I don't remember that was from the books. I'm more familiar with High Republic books. Who are any of these people? They're new characters, Joseph. It's called so, first appearance. Yeah, but why? Why are they? Why are they up now? Is something well, coming out with well, them? Well, it's not necessarily for their first appearance. Vanessa Rowe is going to show up in the Acolyte show, so that's why her books are more. Right. They just happen to be in this. Okay. Um, number four is X Men Adventures number one from 1992. Goes for forty dollars. It was based off the cartoon show, so it's highly popular and first appearance and more. All right, then we're going to go Star Wars, The High Republic, number five from 2021. Uh, it goes for $15, and it is the first full appearance of Vanestra Roja. Ro, Vanestra Ro. It's only $5 more for the first actual appearance. Hmm. Doesn't seem very significant. High uh, Republic five, yeah. Number two is Web of Spider-Man number one that came out last week, and it's the one in 25. It's going for about forty dollars right now. What's the uh, one? What's the difference between the one and twenty-five? Is it just a version variant or something? Yeah, I think it's probably a cover variant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cover variant. Yeah. Wow. Cool. Uh, number one is Uncanny X-Men number two hundred from nineteen eighty-five. Goes for about thirty-two dollars. Trial of Magneto. Mm. And first appearance of is that Vincent Sinister? Mm -hmm. All right. Wow. No, 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 no. Uh, the M suit. Uh, oh, the M suit. Oh, the M suit. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Probably one of the ugliest things to ever happen to comics. Okay. That was uh, cool looking back. You like the M suit? The M suit in the cartoon looks ridiculous. I mean, it was like, right. He's like, he's like, doesn't have arms, but he's wearing like, like 
Uh, yeah, the, the whole long glove. I always, I always threw them in like 1985. It looked dope. Yeah, it looked dope in 85. Yeah. Kind of like Thor's design in uh, the 90s, right? Yeah. So which one of those would be the winner? Uh, I guess if I had to pick one, it would either be the X-Men, the first appearance of Moore, mm. or the uh, the Web of Spider-Man. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, one of those two, if I had to pick one. I would um, probably, yeah, I, I think... Um, that runner-up though, first appearance of Bishop's pretty cool. I do oh, like oh from the yeah, the honorable yeah. mention. Yeah, I would take it. Like, yeah, I would take yeah. That, those extra. First appearance of Bishop, I think, would be pretty sick. But even though I do hate Magneto's suit, I would get that too, just because I love Magneto. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. That's a good... but it's very interesting this week. Very interesting. Uh, is X Men Adventures number two, uh, the death of Moore? Was that? The death of Moore? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's... Uh, I was thinking, like, Worf never really caught on in the comics, like, say, like, Harley Quinn did. Like, Harley Quinn made that cross over, and, like, yeah. and, and Worf just never quite got there. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome oh. to comic books, guys. Oh, what's uh, that? We got Dookie Duke. Dookie Duke? Dookie. You know, I used to, funny moment. Um... I think it was gummy bears where one of the side characters were called the duke like dookie mm -hmm. so i used to think as a kid like why is it saying dookie like right like doo doo like dookie. yeah yeah i was like that's, yeah. that's pretty weird anyway duke e duke number four is cover a seems to be a lot of covers here um me and green shirt guy were having a talk i think this one's kind of better the cover b i agree and the one in 25 that's major 20, blood that's 20 dollars yeah it's, it's major blood $20. though his name is major blood yeah yeah, you don't know who Major Blood is? Ah, yeah, oh, mate, I'm gonna get you with my bullet in my target. He's like one of the two characters in the black team bottom. Yeah. Like this one, Ben. Yeah. This one did Ben's all black. Yeah. X Men 97 what? goes this way. I'm gonna pass on that one. I'm only getting this cover. Can I see? That's a nice cover. This is a nice cover, That's right? Nice cover. Yeah, why would I go with that cover? Mm -hmm. like, right. Feral! What is Feral? It's stray dogs continuing, but this is cats. It's like cats, like Walking Dead style. The cats got rabies and stuff. It's good. To, it's good to see the writers thinking outside the box. Yeah, I think this is gonna be good. Okay. Think good. And then I got the, the blank too. You know what I mean? Speaking of something that's not gonna be good, then, I don't know why you're getting this. Show them. <laughs> Ultimate X Men number one, the second print. I know, I know. I'm questioning myself too nowadays. How much I'm doing is it? A lot it? of How much questioning is it? How much on myself. Is it? How much is it? Um, wow. Why is this five ninety nine? That there's your thumbnail. Wow. Marvel, why is this five ninety nine? Why is this five ninety nine? But it's the same size as a, any other comic book. Second print. Green shirt guy is showing me his butt right now to let him know that we were letting them touch us. Um, and then you know, Void Rivals, the seventh print. Number oh one. Oh my god. The seventh. Are you serious? Well, you got one, two, three, four, five, and six. You got to get number seven, Joey. You've got to get. He's judging me. He's judging me. That's what I'm here. And then my last one Obi Wan Kenobi. I don't buy Obi Wan Kenobi, but it's the Omega cover. There's not. I think this is Omega's first appearance on a cover, on a book. But this is the. This, is this the Obi Wan book? This is the that TV you said show. Yeah, TV yeah, show. yeah. But I'm, only, I'm getting it because of Omega. Who the hell's Omega? She's in the Bad Batch. All right. Well, can I, it, you know what it, I mean? It's a pretty cover. Uh, yeah. All right. So those are my picks. Yeah. Tick. Oh, no. We can't forget about Tick. Yeah, you got some questionables. Buddy. Yeah, I know. I'm questioning a lot of things. What's that pile over right there? Now, Joseph. That's stuff that we don't want to talk about, Joseph. <laughs> Why are you trying to embarrass me that I have a whole other pile over there? I just want to make sure I judge accordingly. <sighs> yeah. A bunch of second and third prints. You know what I mean? Yeah. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. All right, all right. I'm making life. I'm making life choices now. It's, it's gonna change soon. I promise. I promise. Hopefully. I hope so. Hopefully. I all hope right. So. so, thank you for watching. Uh, we will see you guys next time. Remember to watch from the box office news the following Sunday, not this Sunday. And then on Monday we'll be back at 8 p.m. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Joseph. Thank you for letting me judge you. You're welcome. Boo boo. Thanks for joining us for episode 92 of Council of Comics. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe down below and to join us here every uh, new comic book day on Wednesday. And of course, um, 
on uh, May 4th. We're going to be throwing a free comic book day. It's also Star Wars Day. We'll be handing out a lot of free comics. We're going to have a bunch of artists and writers of comics here in the store, as well as um, other vendors. So check us out that day. It's Saturday, May 4th. For Saturday in May, it's always free comic book day. Hope to see you soon. Oh, Why are you get close to me again? Peace out, guys. Oh, really? Y'all have a y'all have a good one. Y'all have a good one. Peace out, everybody. Have a happy Easter, and I'll see you next week. Love you guys. Peace. See you next week. That's it this week, Council. Remember to leave comments below on which books you picked this week, and please like and subscribe. Until next time, peace. That's the episode, everybody. Thank you for joining us. Remember, uh, we will not be on Film and Box Office News this Sunday because it's Easter. Go out and enjoy it. Do some stuff, all right? But we will be back on Monday at 8 p.m. for new keys and hot comments of the week where we start our brand new giveaway for the month of April. April. Oh. Yeah. April? You could have said it differently. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's April. It's Spanish. Oh. Yeah. For our, one, for our one Spanish speaker out there. Yeah. I mean, we got Spanish. One, two, three. Yeah, but we don't three. watch our own show. I watch our own show. How do you think I, mean, I watch I, hours get up like that? I was like, I watch our own show. I mean, sometimes it's on mute, but I'm still watching it. I I don't don't the volume I've never seen everything. a single episode. I don't even know who you guys are. Oh, okay, great. Well, that's Aren't our show. You the homeless guy. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you guys later next time. Peace. Look up on the future and tremble. Black is the brightest day. Where are the heroes?